from 4.5 in MLM. The integral from x to the fourth over 4 minus x to the fifth, everything to the sixth power, dx. Perfect example. Good. So obviously this is my problem. There is nothing I can do to x to the fourth. There is nothing I can do to dx, right? So the integral has to have dx, and this is our function. So this is my issue. Let's see. So if I say let y be 4 minus x to the fifth, immediately I need dy as negative 5 x to the fourth dx. Right there. We know that this is the function. We know that dy is f prime dx. No problemo. How come? Huh. All I had to make up is a number, a factor. It's not a problem. I can multiply by negative 5 and divide by negative 5. So now I have my dy. This is no problem at all because this is y to the sixth. So then my answer for my next step would be copy the negative one-fifth. You cannot forget about that. And the integral now is dy over y to the sixth or y to negative six dy. I simplified all this tremendously by using the substitution, finding dy, realizing that x to the fourth dx are there. The only thing that I'm missing is a constant or factor. Yes? So why did you, why are you dividing by 1 over 5, negative 1 over 5? And why is that outside of the integral as well? But the negative 5 in the numerator is inside Good. the integral. So if I multiply the numerator by negative 5, I have to multiply the denominator by negative 5. Is that okay? Yeah. I can write this the way I like it. And I like it to write it like this. It's still the same thing. I have a question over there too. Hold on, hold on, um, hold on one second. One second, okay. uh, Tess, one second. Is that clear? 1 times negative 5, negative 5 times 1 in the denominator. I want negative 5 to be next to x to the fourth so that I can say that this is dy. If you want to put the negative one-fifth inside here, you can, but still you have to take it out at some point in time. Because remember, the integral from a constant times a function dx, f of x dx, is the constant times the integral of f of x dx. It's one of the properties. So if you want to put, let me write it one more time. So if you want to write it like this, It's, this will still go outside eventually. This is incorporated in dy. The negative one-fifth will go outside. And then you still have the integral from dy over y to the sixth. Did I answer your question? Lennon, you're muted. Uh, I think so. So it doesn't so. matter. You can write it here. But the negative 5 at the top with x to the fourth one with the x have to be incorporated in dy. I have no choice. But the number in front of the denominator will have to go outside. I don't want it in there. It's a constant. It's a factor. I want it outside so I can deal with this. I don't want the number in front here as a constant. I want it outside because because of this property. OK, I think I get it. So then I have negative 1 fifth, and this is y to negative 6. So y to negative 4 over, uh, I'm sorry, I meant to say negative 5 over negative 5 plus a constant c. And to finalize this, I have to write it as positive 1 over 25. I didn't forget about you, Tess. One second, one second. I'll go back to any question you have, but let me just finish this. One second.
So this is 1 over 25, 1 over y to the fifth, but now I go back to my y. 4 minus x to the fifth to the fifth plus a constant c. I know that this is your question, so I'll look at it again. <clears throat> so this is final. I went back to the original variable. I multiplied these two. It's 1 over 25. I brought this to the denominator because it has power negative 5 as 4 minus x to the fifth, everything to the fifth, plus a constant c. Because it's an indefinite integral, has to have a constant. Yes, sorry, Tess, I'm ready. <clears throat> sorry about that. No, my question was y is equal to 4 minus x to the power of 5. Uh, we're derivating the uh, x um, to get the y, dy. Yes. That's what we do all the time. Okay. Yes. That's my question. Right? Yes. So notice one thing. The integral with a function in x has to have dx. The integral with a function in y has to have dy. I cannot have x and dx. Um, I cannot have y and dx. So once I move from x, I move completely to y. There is no more x anywhere. Is this OK? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Alendon, is this OK? Everyone? Um, real quick, so the derivative of um, or the antiderivative of dy over y. Uh, yeah, that that gave you y minus 5 over. Yes, because remember what we do. We increase the power by 1, and we divide by exactly the same number. Okay, so that like works even if it's in the Any power. denominator right there, if it's below dy. There's no like thing. If it's below dy, I bring it as y to negative 6. I was talking about like below that, where you have it down there. Yeah, yeah. it's y to negative 6. So I increase oh. the power by 1 and divide by what I got. OK. So if you want to differentiate, it's a very good question. You can say, differentiate this for me and show me that it's 1 over y to the 6th with negative 1 fifth in front. Very easy. I differentiate this right by bringing down negative 5 and subtracting 1 from the power the negative 5 with the negative 5 will go away and I have negative 1 fifth 1 over e, y to the sixth and the constant prime is 0 so remember the definite the indefinite integrals can always always be checked so you can say I don't believe you show me that this prime is the original function x to the fourth of a four minus x to the fifth to the sixth. You can say that. So you can say, check now. I don't believe you, and I will check. So how do I check? I differentiate this. So I have one over 25 times four minus x to the fifth, everything to negative five, because it's easier to differentiate, plus a constant c. Let's see what we get. So I have 1 over 25, I bring down the power as negative 5, and then 4 minus x to the fifth to negative 5 minus 1, which is negative 6. The constant prime is 0, times the inner function prime, which is negative 5x to the fourth. One more time. 1 over 25, bring down negative 5, subtract 1 from the power, Differentiate the inner function as negative 5 x to the fourth. So in that, now, the negative 5 with the negative 5 will be 25, which will get rid of that. So the final answer is x to the fourth over 4 minus x to the fifth, everything to the sixth. I don't need anyone to tell me whether my answer is correct. I know it is. Why? Because I checked. I differentiated my answer and I got x to the fourth over 4 minus x to the fifth to the sixth. And I'm done. But this is possible. Say, say it again, Tess. I, I get confused over there. <laughs> uh, how minus 1 from 6 to 5? 
say that again? No, under so one over, yeah. two, one over 25. When I differentiate the function to power negative 5, I bring negative 5 in front and subtract 1 from the power. That's the rule. When I differentiate a function to power n, I have n f to n minus 1 times f prime. n, the function to n minus 1 times f prime, negative 5 x to the fourth. It's not about that. On the top, 1 over 25. Negative 5 times negative 5 is 25, which will simplify no. with. Up, up a little bit. The finally, distance at 1 over 25 yes into 1 over x the 4 minus the power of 5 out the bracket of 5 no on the top they're talking about the final answer you're you're not sure about this answer yeah how do we get that to 5 i, I didn't understand that which 5 this one mm -hmm. the rule is that the integral from x to the nth dx is x to n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus a constant c. So if I have the integral from y to negative 6 dy, I follow this rule. I have y to negative 6 plus 1 over negative 6 plus 1 plus a constant c. That's how I get the negative 5 and the negative 5. Okay, thank you. I get my answer. So I have 6, which is negative 6. I increase the power by 1 and divide. I don't have to think. I have to divide by this number, n plus 1 over n plus 1. Thank you. And then okay. negative 1 over 5 times negative 5 becomes 1 over 25 in front. So do you think we have other questions on this one, or is this one clear? So we can move on to the other two. And that's only I have. I get my answer. Thank you. That's clear now. OK. Everyone else, is this OK? We move on to the next one? A real quick question. Yes. So you could also write for the final answer 1 over 25 times 4 minus x to the power of 5, all to the power of 5 plus c. You mean power oh, negative speaker. 5 like this? No, no, just like if you multiply those two things together right there, the 25 and the Yes, four. yes. So you can you it's can have, fine. yes. So you can have one fraction line multiplication symbol here and one at the top. Of course. Okay. Of course. I left it like that because I um, wanted to check anyway, but of course. Perfect. Perfect question. Anything else? Okay, then I have, so this was done, now we're looking at seven. So let me share my screen again. And let's take a look at seven. Okay. Okay, in seven we have, let me copy it, uh, x squared x minus one to the 14 power dx. Perfect. Awesome. Good problem. Of course, this is, I'm not going to raise x minus 1 to the 14th power. I'm going to say let t this time, I, I prefer t today, uh, as x minus 1, no problem, dt equals dx. So the next step would be the integral from, this is t to the 14th, this is dt, but now the question is, what do I do with this? No problem. Solve x as t plus 1. So this is t plus 1 squared. So when I move from x, all x has to go away. Everything has to be replaced. And you can say, what's the big deal? What did you accomplish? A lot. Because t plus 1 squared is t squared plus 2t plus 1. And I can multiply it by t to the 14th very easily as t to the 16th, 2t to the 15th, plus t to the 14th. This versus million terms here. 
Only this one will have 15 terms. One more than the power. Power 2 has three terms. Power 14 for a binomial will have 15 terms. So from 15 terms multiplied by x squared, I only have three terms. Huge accomplishment. So then I'm continuing here. So the integral from all this, t to the 16th plus 2t to the 15th plus t to the 14th dt. And then I get exactly what we just used, 17 and divide by 17, 16 and divide by 16, 15th and divide by 15th plus a constant c. But yes, I have the obligation of replacing t now by x minus 1. So x minus 1 to the 17th over 17, I'll simplify and say um, x minus 1 to the 16th over 8 plus x minus 1 to the 15th over 15 plus a constant c. Very good problem. So the problem was that I was able to get rid of these and change them into t, but then I have a remainder here. How do I change that? Well, solve for x. Add 1. So x is t plus 1, and t plus 1 squared is a piece of cake. Three little terms. And then you have to distribute t to the 14. Very good problem. Thank you for bringing that. Um, now we wanted to look at the book. Anyone has any questions on this one? Okay, back to my book. And uh, uh, which section do we need from the problem? Uh, uh, 24. 24 from which section? Rocky, which section? 4.4. Okay, very good. So we're looking at 24 from 4.4. Awesome. So page 4, 24, and 4.4. Okay.